Hi, I'm Jason, the Pattern to Print channel, and what I want to talk to you today about is the Midwest Rep Rep Festival, otherwise known as MRF. And as of today, it is six weeks away. And personally, I am really, really excited about this year. Um, I've been fortunate in that I've been to every single Midwest Rep Rep Festival so far. And to me, it's sort of the, the one event that really kind of inspires me to do my mega project of the year. Um, a couple years ago, I did my huge four foot tall dome clock. Uh, last year, I did the um, my photo to print thing. And this year, I've been working on uh, my project since September. I have well over a thousand hours into it, and I'm just really, really excited to kind of bring it. But, you know, I'm kind of looking on the social medias and this and that, and there's like a lot of people who are kind of voluntarily deciding, you know, not to come. And, I mean, there's a myriad of excuses. I got this going on, or I'm already, you know, scheduled for all these major fairs. This is, you know, another event. And it's like, I don't think people understand. If you've never been to a Midwest Rep Rep Festival, you cannot compare it to a Maker Fair. Now, I've been to Maker Fairs. I've been at the table at Maker Fairs. And Maker Fairs are great. I mean, I love going to them and all that. But, you know, there's uh, a lack of, you know, there's only so many 3D print stuff there. And the crowd's not as sophisticated as it's you're going to get at the Midwest Rep Rap Festival. I mean, we all have been there. It's the end of the day, and you got the 20th guy who walks up to you and says, you know, how many guns have you printed from it? And you're, like, this close to slapping him with an enable hand. And the logistics of Maker Fairs tend to be, you know, you have to get shuttled in and drop off all your stuff. At the MRF, the parking lot is closer to the door than the door is to the end of the building. It is the most conveniently set up thing as you can possibly have. Pretty much, as long as you know where the Amish buggies are and where they've been, you're golden. Um, and a MRF is only 3D printing. It's just, just for us. It's like our annual convention. Um, not only are there vendors there and, you know, people presenting stuff that they've printed, it's a living 3D print workshop. I mean, you've got printer builds. And if you've got a printer at home that doesn't work, bring it. Most likely, when you go home, it will be working. Uh, I was at my table last year, and there was this high school kid. He had a Prusa i3, I think. And it was like a kit that he built. And he was currently having some sort of issues with some wiring. And someone just walked up to his table, sat down with him for well over an hour to get his printer working. And this is just, this doesn't happen anywhere else. And, uh, by the way, the person who sat down and helped him, Joseph Cruza. So, really, nowhere else is this going to happen. Um, also, and speaking of that, you know, the community, right? We all love our 3D print community. Um, but as the nature of these things, it's, it's very virtual, right? I mean, you're only interacting through YouTube channels or Twitter or Instagram and all this kind of stuff. But the MRF is one of those rare cases where a lot of the people that you interact with online are actually going to be in the same place. You know, we all love Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and how, you know, he holds up his hand for the high five at the end of the show, and you cannot high five him, whatever. But it's not really the same thing as actually physically hitting his hand and getting that kind of tingly feeling. Um, you can't get that in a hashtag. Um... And also, since there's so many people there who are serious 3D print people, there's just tons of vendors, and they just want to give stuff away because they want their stuff out. I mean, they give out so much stuff. I mean, I still haven't opened all my sample packages from last year. I mean, that's how crazy it is. And the deals are really incredible, and it's also an opportunity, and, and, and this isn't the fault of the vendors, but I mean, you order stuff online, and it's like, okay, well, I like that color, and I think, you know, but you don't really know until you get it in your hands and you print it, what it's really going to look like. Well, with all the vendors there, they all have printing samples. You know exactly what everything's going to look like when you get it. So it's just great. Um, and, you know, they're also, yeah, I said, I mean, they want their stuff out, so the deals usually are really, really good. Now, some of you might say, well, you know, that's all great, but, you know, I just, I just can't swing it. And it's like, okay. I want you to pitch yourself, okay? We're going to get a visit from the ghost of 3D print future. Imagine yourself. It's March 25th, Saturday night, and you're anywhere in the world other than the Midwest Rep Rep Festival. And you're, like, looking at your Twitter feed, and it's just exploding. 
I mean, it's just exploding. All oh, the people, you know, like, hey, hey, selfies with, 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 you know, famous 3D print people, and everyone's having fun, and it's like, hey, I'm at the Chinese buffet with Sanjay, and, and you're like, I'm not there. What is that feeling going to be like? Well, I can tell you what that feeling is going to be. That feeling is going to be regret. You are going to be sitting there going, how in the world could I have convinced myself not to go? So I'm telling you right now, we still have six weeks. You can still change your mind. You can still be there. So don't live a life of regrets. Come to Murph. Your future happiness depends on it.